creating a servlet how to create a servlet possible ways to create a servlet these topics you can go by implementing the servlet interface by extending the generic servlet cross by extending the HTTP servlet for HTTP request these are the ways to create a servlet by implementing the servlet interface implementing the servlet interface on our class define the service method for example sample code here that is class test servlet implementing servlet public void service servlet request request and servlet response response whatever the code you want to implement in service write your code here see here the service method what is the code you want to implement here okay this is the request and response methods this is request servlet request and servlet response by extending a generic servlet how to create its servlet Extend the generic servlet class in our class over the service method. This is a sample code of service. For example, take a test servlet, extend the generic servlet, and implement it the service method. And write the code, whatever the code you need to implement, you can put into the code here. I'm passing the request and response object. A special type of servlet that process HTTP request, that is HTTP servlet, by extending the HTTP servlet clause, extend the HTTP servlet clause on our clause over the do access and do get or do post do head etc kind of do access methods get and post are the commonly used http request This is a sample code of extending the HTTP servlet. Test servlet extend the HTTP servlet and implement the do access methods. Here we are passing the code. Write your code here. And these are the request and response object, and uh, these are the related to servlet request and servlet HTTP servlet response. Previously, servlet request and servlet response. See servlet sample servlet. Third method to create a servlet: that send a few HTML tags, few test to the browser. This is a sample HTTP servlet. Hello world. These are the packages, two packages. And class, we are using the, uh, we are sending the input out process, that's why we are implementing the IO package also. And class name is hello world, that extend the HTTP servlet. HTTP servlet uh, implemented the do get method here on passing the request and response and throwing the IO exceptions and servlet exception. We have the response is the test and HTML format. That's why we are using response as set content type test and HTML. 
we need to see the output that's why we are using print writer response get writer out dot print line and pause the what are the stuff html code you what are the type of information you need to pause and you can use those kind of statements this is a sample servlet then how to deploy a servlet we need to deploy a servlet you need to on web container so web server or application server we need for deploying a servlet application deploy our servlet apache tomcat web server whatever server you can use these are the steps for deploying a servlet create a web application install the tomcat web server it's one time process several subscribe uh, sub directories are automatically created under the tomcat home directory if you are using the eclipse id or else manually it will create a structure web application structure in the root directory create a new folder and give it the name web application whatever the name you want you can put it to the name root directory web inf copy and take the structure into the current web application this is manually i am doing right now if you want to use any kind of id tool it will create automatically if you expand the web inf there is a classes suddenly one web dot xml file will be there deployment descriptor everything will be there I'm taking just a structure of that one for demonstration purpose. Web application structure. This is the web application structure. This look like a, if you follow the ID tool, it will generate uh, this kind of structure automatically. The most popular ID tools are available in Eclipse, Maya, Eclipse, NetBeans, all are there. These are the information is required. Defining of servlet classes or URL mapping of the servlet. And compile the source code. And set the class path point to the servlet API jar. You need to set the servlet API jar for it to class path. Compile the servlet uh, using a Java C compiler. I'm compiling that class file. I take that to class file and place it in the class folder. And you need to set the deployment descriptor also. Deployment descriptor is an XML file that is called a web.xml. Provide the information about the component to be deployed in a server. For example, to deploy a servlet, define the servlet and give the servlet mapping. This is a sample web.xml. Here is a root uh, servlet and servlet is tag is there. In between servlet name and servlet class, you need to mention. Here, yeah, servlet team is all hello world and servlet class is also hello world. And servlet mapping is also important and servlet name is hello world and URL pattern is backslash hello. This is a URL pattern.
this is the web.xml deployment descriptor information once the configuration is done I need to check that uh, services once and um, yes opposite tomcat is there I need to restart that uh, opposite tomcat services started once you installed in desktop may uh, desktop was also having a shortcut no problem no issue just I'm checking that one opposite object the service is started or not there is a button is called start button is also available once you click the start button it is started otherwise you select that one start and right click and uh, choose the start button it is automatically started the status is also saying started I'm checking that one uh, through URL also if you get this kind of uh, main page it is perfectly starting the opposite Tomcat and deploying that application and uh, it, uh, calling that URL name automatically it will give the response hello world this will generate to the hello world select this is the way to develop the web application and using a servlet into web application this is a simple sample web application you are seeing on stopping the tomcat server stop the service Top button also available here. This is the location. Is the dot class file is the location. This is dot Java file. Source code is available in that one. There is a different kind of approach to deploying a servlet. If you follow, if you follow creating a servlet and deploying a servlet in Tomcat web server by creating a web application, there is different kind of approaches. If you use ID tools, very simple, no bother about all these settings. Web application is having a web INF folder, web INF having a classes file and libjar files and web.xml file. We are storing the dot class files. Define the servlet and provide a mapping for the servlet in web.xml. Start the server and deploy the server using the URL given in mapping. Small differences. Won't create a web application, won't define the servlet in deployment descriptor. root directory for all web application is root directory which is under web apps in topcat use the invoker servlet to deploy the servlet invoker servlet is a servlet invoke the other servlets 
it is used to serve the request to the servlet that have not been registered in the web application deployment descriptor in this way also without uh, deployment descriptor you can deploy remove the comments from the definition of invoker servlet presented inside uh, I will show that one open the Tomcat home directory on config and open the bread XML here you can find the servlet the comment is there I am opening that one must provide the mapping for the invoker servlet in the corresponding web application don't create any web application use root directory open web.xml file in root directory you can copy the servlet mapping and give the URL path deploying a servlet after starting the Tomcat server you need to give the web application name compile the servlet place the compile servlet class inside the root web nf classes directory here no need of any separate project or separate structure and start the tomcat server and give the url and getting the output but this is not a good approach why because for testing purpose we are using a, a simple hello world if we use may use a different kind of uh, projects different kind of applications easily for identifying purpose we are creating creating a different kind of uh, projects and you need to deploy those projects into separately that is a good practice to deploy the application some of the uh, interviews may ask uh, without creating a uh, any project or already project is there how do you uh, deploy your uh, uh, latest servlet creation file or servlet you need to deploy that one how we are able to deploy this one like that they are might be asking so that you we are trying to develop any kind of new servlet you need to write and compile it and compiling the dot class file place into the uh, class folder under web inf and redeploy that application into the web, web container or application server then start the server and give the uh, relevant kind of URL then you can get the result this is the way of first servlet application